You know, a tradition that's actually taken root here in Cleveland, the Cavs helping make the Forest City green again. Yeah, it's called Trees for Threes, and we set our home at Bash and dig in to see what the program is all about. Every time a Cavalier sinks the three, Cleveland gets a baby tree. It's part of the NBA's Trees for Threes program. Started down in Dallas with the Mavericks in 2010. Three years ago, Price Waterhouse Cooper teamed up with the Cavs to turn the Forest City a little greener. Significantly increased since uh, LeBron James got back uh, two years ago. Last year, they turned Anton Gardena, Cleveland Elementary on the city's east side, into a little four-foot forest. More than 400 trees planted with big help from little hands. But to work with them in planting the trees at their school, uh, they were just smiling ear to ear. Unfortunately, only the threes made here at home during the regular season get trees planted for them. So that record-breaking game against Atlanta in the playoffs? That doesn't count. That doesn't, nope, it doesn't count. <laughs> I'm sure that somebody will be planting a tree for it, probably. Despite that, the tree planting is still at a record high this year. 433 are going into the ground. And that's less than half the 883s the Cavs sunk this season, the most ever. The majority of those, courtesy of J.R. Smith. He's going to have 200 trees with his name attached to him this year. It's especially crucial with Cleveland's tree canopy so low lately, just 19%. The city even launching a 25-year planting plan to get the forest city to live up to its name again. So the next time you see a swish, just know the wine and gold is also going green. Reporting in Cleveland, Homa Bash, News Channel 5. The trees for this season will be planted this fall. They're usually split between schools and parks in Cleveland.